Hi there, it popped up on my memories yesterday that it's been a year since I completed the London Marathon in, in 2019 and that has to be one of my all-time personal achievements uh, in my life so far. And it got me thinking, you know, we often spend too much time thinking about or giving ourselves a hard time beating ourselves up for what we haven't achieved or the things that we haven't done too well, that we often don't give ourselves credit for the things that we have. And, and time can go so quickly that, again, just get, getting caught up in the business of life means that we don't stop to pause to reflect and, and revel in that sense of achievement when things um, are accomplished. So what I'd like you to do today is take a couple of moments to think about, to reflect upon the different things, different areas of your life, and just acknowledge some of your achievements and accomplishments that you have achieved and enjoyed in your life so far. Now please don't fall into the, the trap of comparing yourselves to what other people have achieved or thinking well that's not that important or you know that's not as good as what they've done. That's not what this is about. We get more of what we think about. So if we constantly think about the things that we don't want or the things we didn't do well then effectively we're training our mind and conditioning our mind to, to give that more attention. So the exercise here is to start to train your own mindset to pay more attention to what you've achieved, what you've accomplished, and that just spurs the mind and gives the mind that momentum to keep doing more of those things. So it doesn't matter how big or small your accomplishment might sound to somebody else, just take a couple of moments to acknowledge them, to give credit to them, and maybe in a journal, in a notepad, or just in the notes section of your phone that you carry around with you all the time, start to create your achievements list and just add to it whenever you think of things that you've achieved. And by doing that, you are training and conditioning your mind to pay more attention to those things. But also, if ever you have a, you know, a crisis of confidence or you're just kind of having a blip of self-doubt or you're looking to achieve something new, you've created some evidence for yourself for the things that you've achieved previously. And that just will help give you a bit of a boost and spur you on to know that you can do what you choose, what you decide and what you set your mind to. So that's the, the, the exercise that I'd like you to do today is to create your list of achievements and maybe share some. You know, one of the things I really enjoy from working with my own personal clients is sharing um, in their success and achievements. So I'd love to hear from you. Maybe come up with your top one achievement or maybe even your top three achievements from your life so far. And I really look forward to seeing the different variety of things that people have achieve. So take a couple of moments to do that. Don't overlook it. It won't take you long, but it's something that if you can get in the habit of, of doing as you move forward, then as I say, you're creating your own kind of evidence for the things that you've achieved and just a record. And that will just really kind of strengthen your self-belief that you can do what you set your mind to do. Remember what your mind believes you will achieve. So allow yourself to think differently, to believe in yourself, take action, and you can achieve the life that you want and just be the best that you can be.